Hi everyone. Today I get to talk to you about money and finances and giving to the church as part of our stewardship campaign. Did you hear those three words? I get to? I really am looking forward to talking to you today. And yes, if you had told me several months ago that I would be here today in the middle of a pandemic and all the economic upheaval it has caused, that I would really want to talk to you about these things, I would have said something like, there is no way that is going to happen. The members of Agnes Day have always been generous with their time, their talents, and with their treasure. When the membership of Agnes Day has been made aware of a need, we have always responded. For example, a few years ago, the special Above and Beyond campaign brought funds into the church that are still helping us today. Another example is the beautiful organ that we have in the front of the church. The original funds for this did not come out of the church budget but was given by individual members who saw a need and responded. It is in this spirit of generosity I will share a story of what four of our generous families have pledged to do. As you know, we are in the middle of a stewardship campaign with the goal to stabilize giving for next year, 2021. Early this week, you should receive a letter from Pastor Seth and our council president, Beverly Buster, asking you to complete an intent card and return it to the church. It is an intent card because we are asking you to tell us what you intend to give in 2021. We understand that financial situations can change quickly in this time of pandemic, and you need to feel comfortable if an adjustment needs to be made in your giving. The goal of the Stewardship Committee is to have at least 100 intent cards filled out and returned. This is where those four families come in. As you probably know, our church is having a difficult time meeting its budget, and this campaign will not directly help with this cash flow problem. However, these four families have made a pledge in the form of a challenge gift that will bring in $4,600 to go directly to this year's budget if we as a congregation return 100 completed intent cards. All each of you have to do is prayerfully decide how much you intend to give in 2021 and put that on the intent card and return it. But wait, there's more. One of the families feels so strongly about electronic giving that they will contribute another $50 for each new family that signs up for recurring electronic giving. That could bring in another $1,000 for a total possible of $5,600 given to our budget this year. These four families were not asked directly to make these gifts. They offered to make these challenge gifts by simply hearing about what the Stewardship Committee needed. What these families are doing comes from a spirit of generosity, and it is in that spirit that I am asking each family to thoughtfully and prayerfully consider what they can give to Agnes Day next year and then indicate their intentional giving for 2021. No matter what kind of financial situation you are in right now, please consider how you can be generous for next year. Thank you for listening to me today. To recap, you will receive a letter with an intent card early this week. Please prayerfully and thoughtfully consider what you can give in the spirit of generosity and return the card in the addressed stamped envelope. You can also email your intent directly to Bob Nussbaum. His email address is provided in the letter. Finally, remember that you can help this year's budget by simply returning your intent card and help even more by signing up for recurring giving electronically. Thank you.